the owner decided, hey, I don't want to lose my GM because I'm trying to get out. You know, I've put my time in. If she's gone, then he would have to work more hours. He would have to put in more time all over again. And he didn't want to do that. So he offered her 10% of the corporate store. And she was like, oh, I don't know. You know, let me think about it. So when that didn't work, he went to his sister who owned the franchise that we were going to buy and she hadn't paid franchise fees in I don't know how long and he put that over her head and said you can sell your store and you can sell it to Jeremy but my GM can't be part of the deal and so now all of a sudden the deal is dead she doesn't want to sell and the only reason I know this is because her husband, which really hates his brother-in-law, can't fucking stand him, told me this is what happened. So I didn't get my store and the GM got her 10%. Well, let me backtrack that. He ends up fucking her and only giving her 5%. And I get it. It's business. But to fuck over two of your you know, long-term employees just because you don't want to put in a little bit of work and, you know, train up another general manager, it's fucking disgusting. And so I have zero respect for this man. And then the GM, she just, after she got her 5% ownership, she just became this fucking Nazi slave driver. You know, I guess the power went to her head. And then for like six months, I just I just watched her walk over the two assistant managers while she goes on, you know, a vacation every other fucking week. And the owner doesn't give a fuck. Doesn't say shit to her because he doesn't want to lose her. So she's turned the owner into her own personal bitch. She's got the two assistant managers as her own personal bitch. And her and I butt heads because I wouldn't let her turn me into her personal bitch. You know, I'm not putting my tail between my legs and lowering my head and just doing whatever the fuck. It's complete bullshit. And so her and I just start butting heads after all that. Which... I don't fucking understand, you know, and I'm not saying that she should thank me or anything, but if it wasn't for me asking her to be my partner and then doing what he did, she would have never been 5% owner, never. So why is she being a fucking bitch to me? Where it really all started was, I have two days, Thursday and Friday, that I work a split. And those two days, I work from 10 to 2 and then come back in at 5 to close. Or 5 to whenever. And, you know, as a manager, I'm expected to come in when a driver can't be there or if they need help. Well, those two days, and it's been well established for years. Those two days... I have my children and they're young and I can't just leave them at home and I don't have a babysitter on call I can't just leave I can't be there until 5 o'clock so if it's 4.15 and she's busy she'll text me or call me wanting me to come in I'm like I can't I have my children my parents are dead I can't just go drop my kids off to my parents Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I'm there, no problem. You need me, I'm there. A driver calls in, I'm there. You need some extra help because you're busy, I'm there. When the computers crash, because I have computer knowledge, I'm there to fix them. When the drain on the dishwasher clogs, I go home and get my snake, and then I skip deliveries to unclog the fucking drain. 
you know, I, I did all this because I cared and I thought I was respected. But no more. You know, that's that got to the point to where that's the reason why I stepped down as a manager. And now I'm just a regular old fucking employee. I'm just a regular driver. I work my part-time hours. I come in, I do my job, I fold boxes, I answer phones, I help kitchen out when they need it. You know, I take I take deliveries. That's it. Because I'm no longer a manager. So those standards, those those expectations of me should be gone because I'm just a regular employee now. But the problem with that is it didn't happen that way. She still had those expectations of me that I had to be there when somebody called in. I had to be there when they needed my help. You know, computers crashed. Oh, hey, Jeremy, can you fix them? No, I can't. You know, I'm busy, I can't come in. It's my day off, I'm not coming in. Can you pick up a shift? Uh, no, I got plans. And so that pissed her off. And then on top of it, you know, I would push her buttons purposely. And I would talk shit about the owner because of the whole fucking ordeal with, with buying that store. They have every right to fire me. Any other business, any corporation, that shit won't be stood for. I get it. But how do you how do you fuck somebody over so goddamn bad that's been a loyal fucking employee for a long time and then expect them to just be happy about it? I mean, what the fuck? Seriously? I saw the place starting to fall apart. The two assistants, we're not happy. There's a couple other shift managers that weren't happy. Hell, the kids on the make line fucking couldn't stand her. And they, they work there, you know, two, three months, and they're gone. You know, the place has turned into a revolving fucking door when it comes to the employees. You know, I tried talking to the owner about, you know, my situation and my, and my my Thursday and Friday because you know he has kids when his kids were first born it was like it was all about his kids he was like I can't I have kids you know that was his thing he couldn't come in no more he couldn't work nights no more he couldn't do this no more couldn't do that no more because he had kids and so I figured out of all people he would fucking understand but no he told me multiple times you know she's my managing partner I'm gonna back her no matter what the situation. And I'm like, even if you know she's in the fucking wrong, and that was his thing. She's my managing partner, I'm gonna back her no matter what the situation. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? He's just afraid to lose her is what it boils down to. And I don't know why he has put her on this fucking pedestal. Because everybody's replaceable, everybody. You know, she's good at her job, but she ain't that fucking good. You know, everybody's replaceable. And the two assistant managers, man, they're fucking spineless. They won't say a goddamn word. You know, they know they're being fucked and screwed over. She's on her 30, 30th vacation for the year, and they gotta work more hours because she's gone. They gotta take on more responsibility because she's gone and it's bullshit and they'll come to me like hey you know this and this and this I think it's bullshit what do you think I'm like yeah it's bullshit you know and it's we all talk shit you know the owner talks shit about the GM the owner talks shit about the assistant managers the, the GM talks shit about the owner the GM talks shit about the assistant managers the assistant managers talk shit about the owner. The assistants talk shit about the GM. It's just this vicious circle. And it's never ending. Everybody is talking trash about each other. And that was one of the things that was brought up during my sit down for my 10 day suspension. That I was the one talking trash. When 
it's everybody talking trash. But I was the fall guy. And that really pissed me off. And I don't know why they just didn't fire me. I mean, I understand. They want me to fucking do all the shit I used to do because there's nobody else. There's nobody else to do it. You know, the computers crash. They gotta call the fucking, the computer guys. They don't give a fuck. They're not coming in on the weekend. They're not, you know, if they can't remotely log in and fix the system, it could be three days before they show up. So for three days, everybody's gonna be handwriting fucking tickets. I mean, it's a fucking joke. And so it's just, I, I get that's why they don't wanna get rid of me, but I don't give a fuck anymore. When I walk through those doors, I'm there for me, my family, and that paycheck. That's it. I don't give a fuck about them no more. The assistant managers are fucking spineless pieces of shit. The owner is just a fucking disgusting fucking piece of shit. And the GM has just, she's walked right into that path, becoming a fucking selfish piece of shit. So this is why I signed up for all these app-driven delivery services. Because when I was on my 10-day suspension, I was like, I've got to diversify my income. I have to. I was like, it only makes sense. If you have income from one place and that place burns down, you don't have income anymore. If you have income from one place and you get fired, no longer have income so this is me diversifying my income this channel the Facebook group and the app driven delivery services so that's why this channel that's why the Facebook group I know it's been a boring story but this is why and I promise you None of the videos will be this boring. <laughs> Maybe. I'll try. So, please subscribe. Please like and post your comments. If you agree with me, great. If you disagree with me, great. I look forward to reading everybody's comments, good or bad.